Hello, welcome back to Blend Sushi Life Learning. Um, today in this episode, um, I wanted to try to answer this question by Gleb Alexandrov. He asked basically if anyone know how to import image sequence with skip frames. And normally it it, uh, it reads it like one, two, three, four, five, but but I think we can kind of solve this uh, using animation nodes in a way, so it's kind of interesting uh, problem. It's not that complicated, basically. Uh, so we need some kind of image sequence. And I already made a, a quick image sequence um, that I created earlier. It's basically this uh, turntable monkey. Um, I also made this using animation nodes and render it um, in real time using EV. So I, I'm just going to quickly show you the turntable monkey. So the turntable looking something like this. Uh, you can see the camera is rotating around the monkey. The camera is actually constrained. If you look at the constraint, um, I'm using object uh, track two constraint. So it's looking at Suzanne, and then you set up the uh, the target and then the up target, which is the y axis. The target is minus z. So that's kind of fix it. And for the rotations, it's based on this uh, simple animation nodes. Um, basically, I'm using distribute matrices circle, and I have the amount is 100 frames, but it can be like 20 frames, and you know, 20 frames. It's gonna give you that camera angle and Suzanne, and it simply generate the value for the camera, and then get the list element and I'm moving the index using frame. So that's for Suzanne. For what we want to do, uh, to do with the image sequence, I'm gonna show you. Um, so basically, if you want to import image sequence, uh, this add-on does the job. It comes with Blender 2.8. Animate image sequences. You want to have it shadeless or with alpha, whatever. But uh, I'm just gonna load it. I have 100 frames of the monkey head rotating. So file, save as, this is a image, animation nodes, image sequence, control. So I should be able to see the texture, okay. And by default, uh, it should have the shader. The shader is auto, uh, set up automatically by that add-on. And this is the image sequence. So it's 100 frames and we can make it cyclic. So if we play back, it's, uh, it's gonna play back the image sequence. That's gonna play back in normal sequence, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, like, and so on. Um, but we want to kind of control the frame itself using animation nodes. So how are we going to do that? It is actually not that complicated. Um, I have the setup already, but I can easily start from scratch, but I'm uh, not going to do that. So I will file, append, and get the sequence control node 3, and there, this is the one. So this setup, um, this is kind of like a, it's using the expression node. The expression node can be slightly intimidating. It's not that complicated. It's actually very, very simple. It's using this um, BPy. Blender Python to get into the plane and then look at the material slot number one, number zero, and then get the image texture, which is uh, this guy right here, and then offset it by frame. So we really want to control this offset value. Okay, so the, we're gonna really look at that. Uh, we're gonna change that using animation nodes. And there's a couple of nodes over here. 
and the math subtract I, I will explain it in a bit and yeah so this will do the job um, it's giving error I think at the moment oh actually no it's already working no it's not working because it doesn't see the plane this this is not I will rename it to plane um, I will find playback it's not control let's see if I'm doing anything wrong okay this image texture is uh, it's not properly named image texture offset it should be working um, let me see cyclic auto refresh image sequence maybe I need to turn off cyclic try to control it here maybe maybe it's the naming issue right here Nope. I'll open my file. Okay, it's basically the same. But this one at least working. Yeah, you can see here suddenly we have control over this guy over here. Um I set up the frame so it's um, it's only 100 but basically we can con while, while it's under this uh, animation frames we can control the image sequence to whatever number we prov provided here and this frame and subtract basically it's to counter it's kind of to counter um, the way blender image sequence works whenever you run the playback um, it is actually using the frame number as well so by um, countering it with subtract we, we don't have that and so we simply can just assign any numbers in here all right so if we decided okay we want to have like random number just plug in here we can we can do that as well uh, so between 0 and 100 see now it's simply jumping between any uh, image, any frame of the image. This is actually really, really cool. Uh, you can kind of play around with this uh, idea. Maybe I'll show you how you can control. You can use uh, the sound node to control the image sequence, something like that, but, uh, or something else. But for now, so we have control over this guy. So. If we simply use a frame number and plug this into that, this guy, it's gonna give like the normal sequence, right? Um, but if you want to skip, like what Lab Alexander is asking, we want to skip frame one, three, five, seven. So that's kind of like in a sequence, right? We can do that using range integer. And then here, this is one way to look at it. You can use math, but this is easy, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can skip. So now it's becoming even number, 0, 2, 4, 5. That's fine, but you want to start from frame 1. So 1, 3, 5, 7. So it's skipping. So this is probably what uh, Glad wants. So we can simply plug this into this guy and it doesn't work like that because this is expecting a single number so get this element and index should be the frame goes in there and how many frames we want I think it's working now Um, I 
Okay. I somewhat unplugged that thing. So a free three frame. So now you see image sequence working. Okay. The this the only gotcha here is that because we are using animation nodes and then we are skipping the frame. See this guy doesn't update somehow. But if you okay, if you are actually okay, if you're running EV, it's it working. So that's no problem. This guy, this image actually doesn't have to be this complicated. We just want it to be shader, like a uh, emission shader. So this there. We don't need the alpha for now. Okay, we have to then. Now we can kind of scrub through this. If Gleb wants to skip every other, so it's done. One, four, one, three, seven. Okay, that's interesting. Animation mode is not running. It's a cute. Okay. It's supposed to be running. Indefinitely, so anyway, so this is actually animation nodes using expression controlling the offset. You can perhaps you can do this using driver as well, which is uh, can be simpler but not really. Sometimes driver can be kind of hidden. But anyway, this is to prove the point that this is actually working. This is a skipping frame now. Instead of 100 frame, it's skipping. And you can see the frame number over here if I'm plugging this into the viewer. And execute, so it's seven. Somehow it's, this guy is not running. Just enable that. Oh, always is deactivated because we are using cycles and it's rendering as well. That's why. Yeah, like I said, we need to have this running. Now we can scrub, which is uh, slightly tricky. But with this setup, you can actually have something pretty cool. Let me show you. Skipping image sequence uh, in. I think it's, this is the one. Oh, yeah. I think I need to change the image sequence here or rename it back to desktop turntable monkey not zero zero one back to original. We open. Oh, remind me later. File open. Okay, look at this. This is 100 uh, sequence of the monkey, but I'm controlling it using the sound. If you see the pink, that's mean. That means the image sequence kind of goes over or under. Um, but you can easily fix that, I guess. This sort of, I think a good setup, um, maybe in the next video, I will try to to have an image sequence, you know, kind of like a bundle. So you can have like a multiple, right? And you can play around with each one of them. This can be kind of interesting as well. Because now it's a, you can, you can control it using animation nodes, that's the point. Expressions, animation nodes, once you understand what's underneath, it should be uh, working. Oh yeah, I still kind of wondering why this guy doesn't work. I need to check this out. Maybe one of these expressions doing something funky. So play, play material slots. Subtract this should work. 
uh, still kind of running the frame. This guy is everything is correct. Supposedly, if I'm scrubbing here, it's controlling the offset. It's strange. But I have the, the other one that's kind of working. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully, this is useful for you. Uh, hopefully, this answers your question. Like, if you want to use animation notes for this. Um, all right. But anyhow, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.